How's it going, everybody? PJ, kind of late. I uh, didn't know whether or not I was going to get on. And then once I got it all set up, I, I at least want to get going here. So <laughs> so what I did was I, I went back to uh, the um, Freightliner dealer. Um, if you look real quick at the uh, uh, truck manager. I, grew, I bought a Freightliner Cascadia, but I did not, uh, I, I kind of jacked it up. Um, so I didn't get the truck I wanted. It's only a four, uh, 410 horse, um, drove it 437 miles. And uh, what happened was I went back to Freightliner and I picked up a uh, the Cascadia I wanted. I, I got it all set up the way I wanted it and everything. So uh, I am currently in that truck um, that left this truck kind of sitting so what I did, since it was uh, underpowered, um, I hired myself a new, dri uh, new driver. So Natalie P has joined our our happy little our happy little gang here. Yes. Oh wait, no, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, screwed up again. <laughs> All right, so once we get back out of this, um, I will switch it back again. And we will, I've got a, I've got a uh, job lined up, and we'll go pick it up, and we'll get on the road, and uh, this probably will not be a very long run, because, like I say, it is already getting late, but uh, I did want to uh, correct my mistake, which was the, uh, the underpowered. I'm going to drive this one, Natalie. You get the other one. Boom. There we go. Okay. Um, and for some reason, even though I saved my presets, it's still coming out. Like, the, the truck I just bought is lighter for some reason. The yellow is lighter. I was looking for more of a metallic yellow. Um, so, don't know why it seems to shift, but it does. It seems to shift a little bit. Okay, so here we are. Let's step out. Um, got all the bells and whistles, the skirting, um, chromed out, you know, you know the way I like it. Again, that yellow is probably closer to the right yellow, the yellow I was looking for, but I was kind of enjoying the, uh, metallic yellow. Got the AC on the back there. So, it's a good looking truck, and that's what we were looking for. Um, and we picked up another driver, so we'll jump uh, jump out real quick because I, again, I did pick. I've already picked a job. Um, uh, from Fort Collins, uh, for uh, a pair of forklifts going from Fort Collins, Colorado to Sandpoint, Idaho, uh, which is up here in the northern northernmost city in Idaho. So. Uh, it needs to be there by Sunday, 4.22 p.m. to Sunday, 11.02 p.m. It's currently Friday, 11.53 a.m. That'll net us $77,146. Uh, we've got 18 hours and 26 minutes to uh, before that offer expires. We'll be making $58.16 a mile. It's fragile cargo. It's a standard delivery, and it's high-value cargo. So we're going to go ahead and grab that. Um, Set our GPS coordinates, and there we are. Now I could. Uh, this is kind of. Uh, this is kind of tight in here. Um, I think I'm just going to drive through. I'm going to drive through the, the. Let's do this. We got Sky with us. There she is. We can turn this off. We got the nice GPS on the dash. We got ourselves a nice uh, instrument panel here. It looks good, doesn't it? Trip miles per gallon, 99. I'm sure there's a way to change that. Here's the interior. Power seats. Cascadia it out. We got ourselves a microwave back here. The fridge is over here. The bed. Uh, that's an overhead storage, I think. Plus, uh, lots of storage, so. Alright, so we are... I 
How do I know if that's on or not? It says break. Okay, so my. Can't tell. Pull to apply parking brake, push to release. Okay. So it's pushed. We got a gas station, we got our gas pump over here in our. Uh, and I will have to. Uh, I'm gonna have to adjust my seating and everything. truck until I have all the trucks but uh, currently uh, like I say with the freight uh, Freightliner it just uh, I messed it up Turn right. I'm definitely gonna have to uh, readjust my seat though because this is not keep left and it's then like, turn left I can't really see much. I'm not seeing very well. Turn left. Okay, come on. The hiccups got to stop though too. That's not helping me out either. As you can hear, we still have a uh, sky riding with us, which is nice. Doesn't seem to be any indicator on the dash as to whether or not the parking brake is on, so. 30 miles per hour, that's my speedometer there. I think I'm gassed up right now. Oh. Oil temperature, all right, there's gas over there on the left. Oil pressure. Just trying to figure out the lay of the land here. Going through four columns, I'll have to look the windows down for a little bit, get a little fresh air. Go straight on. sitting side by side with another truck. Uh -oh. Twenty-five. Here. Must be something going on over at the church. Why? 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 Yeah. 
starting to get a little bit of lag. I appreciate it, Sky, but we're currently catching every... There's the Freightliner where we got our truck. Both of them. We're heading down to the uh, cell goods. So we're going to pick up our load and get out on the road and on the waves. And uh, if I get a speeding ticket, I might get I don't have my GPS, my uh, GPS up, so I didn't see what that. It, it did. It did sound like I heard the. Uh, right. I heard the cash register go off. So it's all good. Get in. There we go. Oh, shoot. Sure. <laughs> Love that horn, though. Shut up. Okay, let's see what happens. I missed it. No, I was going to say, now I've missed the whole thing. Freight market. All right, we're here to pick up the forklifts. Ready to roll. Where's she at? On the back side. Recomputer. Nope. You're alright. I'm in the wrong spot. I thought maybe we could get around. Dressed the same today. How horrible! Look, y'all look like you could be twins. Oh man, we're getting some heavy frames out here. I tried to do it a little bit nicer than that, but... Let's go ahead and jump out. Now we're right up against the wall here. We're on the pin. Alright. Go ahead and hit the T-bar. A little coupling. Fifth wheel rock locked, raising the legs. Okay. We currently now have our load. I think what we'll 
do is we're going to go ahead and just we don't get to this section of Fort Collins very often so let's go ahead and I wanted to check out the uh, Dream Burger I love that logo I want to get a Dream Burger t-shirt Greenberger's got a waffle. Oh, this is the other one I like. This is a new one as well. Waffle Topia. I love the Waffle Topia. Uh, real deal real estate. Waffle Topia. All right. What do we got here? Uh, Mike's Bistro. Arcade. Thrift store. A couple of nice bikes out here. Church. Again, I don't know what's going on, but all the churches seem to be doing some business today. It's not Sunday, it's Friday, so. Uh, we got another burger joint over here. Trying to hold our own against the uh, American fast food burger next to the taco place, which is next to the Asian place. My kitchen, kitchen tools and gadgets. Another Mike's Bistro. You got Mike's. This must be the to-go spot. Burton's Mini Market. Marty's Antique Furniture Shop. Very cool. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we don't get around to this section of uh, Fort Collins very often. Let's see if we can find Horsetooth Reservoir. No, no such luck. Selbid has got a big installation here, huh? folks I think we finally found it I believe we are on campus let's get down about uh, there's no signage though Maybe there's a sign toward the front. I'm thinking this might be home of Cami the Ram, Colorado State University. Not sure. I've been looking for this all over the place. I thought I recall that they had this big uh, kind of garden area out front. All right, man. Late for class, yo. Behind. Oh man, I'm so dead. All right, well, let's jump back in the cab, call our drone home. I'm gonna turn off our turn off our uh, emergency brake. Take off on here. Start heading towards Idaho. Okay, we're 
bring it right out of here. Jeez, we got this reefer truck parked right here. It's gonna make me take this turn a little bit more shallow than I'd like. Okay, then just knock my mirrors off. fluid if it didn't just stop in the middle <laughs> like that. Alright, so we gotta get over to the left. Turn left and then turn left. So we're gonna be making a left turn right here. Turn left. You got it Sky, as soon as we get the light, babe. help with that burger town there's another another waffle topia must love their waffles here Fort Collins that's my favorite diner right there the 50s diner yourself a nice big Sloppy burger over there, piece of apple pie, French a la mode. Make mine French a la mode. cool one too. Oh, I'm digging that. I am really digging on the uh, new logo they got. Uh, the new businesses. It's not just a logo, it's a business. So they're coming up with new burger places, new uh, waffle places, and uh, new, new donut shops. So uh, I'm going to be following this guy all the way to Loveland. Exit right. It's not Loveland, it's Sandpoint, right? Yeah, this thing's got some nice, nice ride. It's a nice ride. Um, good power. You know, just smooth. It's smooth as butter. You know, um, I didn't really check my... Oof. Oof. Kind of swept a little bit. Okay. I was trying to check my mirrors. Um... That's why I tend to get the front mirrors because then I can, you know, I'll, I'll, once I get it all set up, it's pretty low. I don't, I, can I lift it? I don't. But then I can see along the right side of my my truck, but I don't have to really kind of turn my head too much. I just go back and forth from this to this. Um, so it's 75 miles per hour. I'm doing 45.
that was very horrible. <laughs> Obviously. Um, although the blacktop's pretty bleached out. I couldn't really see where the planes were. Um, so, I'm, gonna, I'm claiming uh, difficulty here. So we're uh, trying to make our way around the world. I did a Euro truck the other day. Felt pretty good about that. Finally got into Great Britain. Um, unfortunately, there's been another update. So I think I'm going to wind up back in Cologne, Germany. This guy screwed me up. So I think I'm going to be back in Cologne, Germany. But uh, I'm starting to make some, some headway, some leeway on getting out of the uh, fiscal crisis that we are in, so um, hoping. Really? And he's gonna s really nice place for all that frame drop too. That was awesome. <laughs> Could have done that again. Another could have been more smooth in that action, but with everything just coming to a complete stop, it's like I don't. Okay, so, um, yeah, so I'm struggling with it today, I don't know why, but, uh, so yeah, so we did, uh, we did a run in Euro Truck, where I think we're, we're starting to see a little daylight at the end of the tunnel, so hopefully we'll just keep plugging along, um, this is my first back time back on American Truck Sim for a little bit, um, but we're doing fairly, fairly well here in American Truck, like I said, it was this doing well enough that I was able to buy a, uh, another truck and hire another driver. So I'm up to four trucks and four drivers. I only have two garages, so I'm thinking if I get to Idaho. See, I press the button to turn that off because it's dropping so many frames, it's not registering button presses. That's where you start to get a little aggravated because, you know, I'm trying to do my job here. So when it starts missing button, button presses, that's where you start to go, you know, get a little agitated with it. Okay, there we go. Got the cruise back on. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking if I get to, uh, what was it, Sandpoint? I don't know. Once I get there, I, if they have a garage, I'm going to go ahead and purchase it. Um, and then I think I will maybe set myself up there.
back up to 60 here in a minute. Caution, please mind the speed. Still on 35. Trucks, okay. Runaway truck Caution. ramps. Please mind the speed. Got it, Sky will pump the brakes a little bit. Does that make you happy, dear? I haven't had to use the ramps yet. I don't think I will. You get a good look Caution. out there. Please mind the speed. Uh, the mountains out in front of us there. Now we're picking up some speed here. I just got. Drop frames right there, so. Runaway truck ramp. What a, oh, cool car. Um, cool classic car. I wonder what would happen, oh, shh. I wonder what would happen if you hit that truck ramp. I wonder if it's like loose soil and stuff, just like, uh, in real life, or if it's just, uh, you know what I mean? It just uh, stops you there. Uh, in other words, the animation. What's the animation when you hit the thing? Do you, do you really sink into it, or do you just kind of roll to a stop? Um, what's the deal? Yeah, but we're heading, and we're going downhill pretty good. Rockies here. Oh, I missed that sign. <clears throat> Back up to 60. Here we go. Pancho Springs. fine with me. I'm not running a race. I'm making a delivery. I don't want to break stuff. feel a little bit more confident with the tractors because uh, the trailer being so low it's you're less um, inclined to kind of tip it. Um, I've had quite a few experiences of... Please mind the speed. What, what is with the speed, man? <laughs> I get it going and then I gotta come down. I gotta get it going and I gotta come down. So we're back down to uh, 40. Beautiful countryside. If I could get a little straightaway, I might try to jump out and just uh, watch some of the miles go by here. But with all these uh, twists and turns, and well, definitely with this tunnel, I don't think I want to be on the outside just yet. So we're doing 44 and a 50, that's not bad. Okay, let's see if we can take this turn <laughs> from outside, ah, outside the truck. Ah. That's all right. 
Uh oh. Tunnel. Watch your head. Low ceiling, y'all. Train. Still 50, so my 44 is not uh, not horrible. fun but uh, let me try to get this back under control here started just uh, getting too close to that wall for comfort all right where are we at Glenwood Springs in Aspen Aspen Colorado that'd be a fun trip see what they uh, how they uh, model Aspen that'd be kind of City. Haven't been there yet, so this will be a discovery, um, which will be good. Always like finding more cities. Um, as I stated, I did do a Euro truck run recently, and I got into Great Britain for the first time, uh, Southampton, and uh, I was there. Made the delivery, and like I say, then since then there's been another uh, kind of update. So I'm not sure what river this is. along the uh, roadway here. Uh -oh. A little too far over here. Sun's starting to get low in the uh, west there. Some longer shadows. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah. Never welcome. There's a train going by over there to the right hand side there. Over the limit? Question mark. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm kind of over the line here. Get back in the truck. Just kind of slide back over. 
Alright, uh, headed west on 70. Good old 70. I think, uh, was it 60 and 70? I'll basically take you from, you know, practically the east coast to the west coast. Because I think, I keep saying it, I say it all the time and people probably get sick of it. And I, I apologize, but I'm really doing it just to remind myself. I think it's even numbers go north-south, odd numbers go... No, evens go east-west, odds go north-south, I think, right? Oh, it's been a while, so I'm not sure. I think that's how it is. Evens go east-west, odds go north-south. Look like at dam over here. Lots of scenery to see, you know? Lots of scenery to see. So we drive along here. A little bit of a deserted stretch of highway, this this one here. So we have that, ooh, 70, We're getting up to 70 now, so I'm gonna have to change my speed. Uh oh. No, okay, we're starting to yeah, wrong button. Wrong button. Okay, get back in the cab, get back over in your lane. Lucky to get popped by a cop. So there's the sun setting in front of us there as we head west. Into the sunset. Making our way to uh Sand Point, Idaho. The northernmost city in Idaho. Oh, no, no, no. A gallon truck. It's now 75. I'm doing uh, about 52, 53. I will uh, port of entry. I, oof. Oh. I think I'm going to try and up my speed a little bit. Look at the beautiful clouds out there in front. They did uh, they did a uh, a redo of the lighting system. And uh, man, is it beautiful, huh? Uh oh. Thank you so much. I was, I was trying to 
to, uh, what was I trying to do? I was trying to set my cruise and I wound up inadvertently. Did I hit the X? Maybe the X buttons. The keyboard equivalent. 75, I'm going to get up to about 65, 66 and then I'm going to hit the uh, cruise control. I got my headlights on. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, let's go ahead and hit that cruise control. Let's jump outside for a little bit. Uh-oh. We're moving kind of quick, but I wanted you to be able to see the new light of the uh, sky with the new lighting system. Um, welcome to Utah. So we're passing through Utah. And we're moving away from the sunset, so didn't work out so well for us that time, but we'll stay out for a bit. Oh, no, no, no. Don't swim in the lane. I need to pull that up. I just don't want to miss a turn. Uh, 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 uh. There we go. There we are. Ooh. I think it's probably better if I go a little bit lower. But you can see that was beautiful pinks and blues and purples. And you're going to want to pass the truck that's swerving all, all over the road. A couple of drop frames there. Making our way. I can't, uh, you know, the drop frames and stuff, I can't really complain. Uh, I only have an i3 processor, so... Uh, the reality is it's playing pretty well for a uh, processor that's kind of underpowered. So I would love to be able to upgrade my processor and be done with this issue, you know. Um, yeah, I better jump in because there we go. I'm just swimming a bit. Uh, yeah, so I, you know, that's one of the things on the list, update the processor. And I think we'd be okay. I think we'd be able to run this thing pretty cherry, man. Be pretty cherry. Hands on the wheel, not on the phone. Wow. It's kind of hazy out there, huh? Exit 157 in Utah. There's no way this exit is 80 miles per hour. through the night now. Like I said, I think we're going to try and find, uh, we can find ourselves a place where we can uh, 
rest stop, a truck stop, something. And then we will wrap up this uh, this first leg of this trip to Sand Point, Idaho. Keeping an eye on our GPS down there, so hopefully we'll find something soon. be without you, Sky. That's okay, Scout. I think we're gonna rest for the night, so go straight on. Kingdom. I'm gonna do this real quick because poor little sky is freaking out. World map. Okay, so we can get gas and we can get sleep. Drive safe. Yes, ma'am. Uh, chicken. D chicken, man. Taco Kingdom. Yeah, they they really they they did a great job with these new companies and logos. <gasps> There's a pizza one. Pizza House. Pizza House. Uh, uh, pizza House. Mm, mm. Have a pizza in your house. We deliver. No, we don't. <laughs> oh, did I miss my? Taco Kingdom, these chicken, this, these, these chicken, D, D chicken, the chicken, and then Pizza House. Lots of donuts. And then there's, uh, I noticed there was a donut planet back there too. There's your t-shirts right there. Is there a way into this place? Get ready to turn left. Turn left. As long as we're going to rest for the night, I think I'm going to go ahead and just fill up. I don't think we're very empty just yet. Put that on. Turn that off. Go ahead and fill up. Right. I hear you, man. Exactly why I pulled in. 
This couldn't have worked out better if I planned it. <laughs> Parking brake. Oh, I thought it. Was I driving with it on all this time? Alright, so now I need to find a spot to park in. Oh, you know what? I'm going to call this up, otherwise, I won't. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, there it is, it's still on. Okay, I'm <laughs> like, I can't find my, I can't find my, uh, Let's take a take a look. Where are we at? I think we're up against the wall, aren't we? Yeah, we're right up against the wall. Okay. Yeah, that's not a bad job, I don't think. Right? Let's jump back in the cab. Uh, let's turn off the lights. Wow. And we'll shut off the engine. But let's go ahead and get the drone out and take a look at Price, Utah here. All right, let me slide this over. Oops! <sighs> I hear you. And I'm gonna get I'm gonna get tagged if I don't. Here we go. We got Dirks. It's Dirks crispy chicken. Oh, you know what? Do that again. Dirks crispy chicken. Really cool at night because the lights make it really show up. What else we got? The pizza house. Pizza house. Well, no, see. Play fair. Camera on. Come on. Keeps dropping frames right there.
All right, so there's that. Yes, I know. I'm getting tired. I'm going to have to get some sleep very quickly because otherwise I'm going to incur a penalty, and we don't want that. Okay. So there's that. We're going to go ahead and take off here. So this is Price, Utah. It's basically um, the developers have it as a... Oh, well, here's some, something interesting here. These are like salt silos or something where they keep salt, road salt. They're in price. We got business over here? Kenworth. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's Kenworth dealership plus it's a, a pickup point. You can pick yourself up a new Kenworth. And they also have uh, deliveries, obviously. You can see the... Uh, oops, it went too far. We got the trailers back here for uh, hauling the three trucks. I haven't taken that load yet either. Yes, I know. We're going to hop right back. Here's the garage. Um, so if you wanted to establish yourself here in Price, Utah, you could do that. Here's a, a service station. Guy cleaning up. It's nice. Kind of right off the interstate here. There she is. Cold drinks, lemonade, fresh lemonade. And so, oops, sorry. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> I fell. I fell forward. Hot dogs, burger, pizza, and pasta. Boy, this place has got everything. Open, welcome. Oop, I just went right through it. How you doing? You need a ride? You need a lift? No? Just trying to be gentlemanly. Kenworth dealership. Garage. We buy gold and silver. Alright. I'm coming, I'm coming. What, what do we got happening here? There's something going... Time delivery. I get it. I get it. Okay, here we come. I'm gonna hit the button. We'll be back in the truck. There we go. And now we're gonna go ahead and hit the enter button. Get some rest. All right. So here we are in the morning. We'll grab ourselves some breakfast and we'll be on our way. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and end this one right here. We are in Price, Utah. Oops, reset navigation. Okay, so we're in Price, Utah. Uh, a couple of things to discover. But we'll be taking the six. Um, we still gotta get through, yeah, we gotta get through Provo, Salt Lake, and then Ogden before we even get to I uh, Idaho. And like I say, that's we're gonna, uh, 84. Um, well, 84 continues this way. Um, again, even number going east to west. We jump on I, uh, Idaho 55, which we will join up with 95. And then 95 will take us straight north up into Sandpoint. But in the meantime, we will be passing close by to Twin Falls. Uh, we'll be going through Boise. Uh, Grangeville, Lewiston, uh, I think we go, well we're close to Lewiston, obviously you can see we're not going to go through Lewiston, but Cordialine and then up to Sandpoint, which will be our final destination. Uh, we're going to sell mill. I mean, uh, Tommy, my brother-in-law, Tommy, uh, Tommy G's Gaming, we were, we were just saying how we haven't taken any logs yet, so maybe I'll get a chance. And then once here, I think we're going to go ahead and we will buy, um, we're going to buy the uh, a garage if they have one up here. That looks like a rest point. That looks like a rest area. I don't know if that's a garage, but 
If there's a garage up here in Sandpoint, we'll probably go ahead and purchase that and we'll uh, establish ourselves there that way we don't keep getting jettisoned back to uh, Fort Collins, Colorado. But for now, we're going to sign off for Price, Utah, making our way to Sandpoint. We're well on our way. So thanks for tuning in, and uh, I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.